Hey viewers, welcome to another evening of the Renewalism Show. Thank you so much for being around and uh, it's my pleasure to introduce to you a lady from Singapore today. She's a global keynote speaker and uh, a mentor, trainer on mindset. She's also uh, an author. Her book on perspective matters is going to be coming out very shortly. But before I bring her on stage, since many of you may be joining for the first time, time today let me just give you a little background of renewalism and the renewalism show so what you see beside me is a book renewal which was in fact released just last week and uh, it, it's a very in interesting book not because i've written it but because it was channeled through me i am merely the medium of a form of energy which is called guru pranachandra who's the storyteller of this book and what guru Prachandra took me through in December last year were a set of habits that would create a renewed environment not only outside us but inside us as well. So as you see in the strip below, renewalism is destined to be a movement in a few years as it catches on on the internet, quite like the lifestyle change movement of veganism. And in fact, much bigger than that, because here we're not talking about just animals. We're talking about ourselves. We're talking about our consciousness and small lifestyle changes that we can make. 30 habits, in fact, which are going to renew us from inside, self-renewal, renew our relationships with friends, family, elders, children, the environment, the planet, and renew the systems we have grown to operate in and the conditioning that has come about in us on account of the systems, like the school system, like the medical system, like the uh, operating system of offices, a lot of that incidentally has undergone a lot of change, if you noticed, in the last couple of months. And that change has been forced upon us. And, but now the way that we look at it, maybe cities would not need to exist because everybody can work online. Now, that could have been done anytime. Renewal and renewalism is a nudge in that direction of designing our preferred future. because. Those are the habits that he talked of in December, documented them. And the reason I brought out this book now is because I couldn't wait for a formal publishing house and all that. I needed the book to be in your hands before our old habits kick in. So now that the lockdowns are closing and uh, or rather the world is opening up again, we want you to be at the cusp of this awareness and hop across to renewalism.com. It's where you can pick up a copy of the book or get more information, read a little of what's inside it, and you have Amazon links to the entire uh, Amazon sites all over, so you can pick up a copy from anywhere. Just click there and you're on. Now, coming back, back to habits and why we have Rafia Sultana with us today. Because a lot of people think, and this is a mindset, that uh, habits are difficult to create. Now, I have a different perspective on it. Guru Pranachandra has another perspective. Let's talk to the author of Perspective Matters, the mindset coach and trainer. And that's Rafia. Hi, Rafia. You're on the show. You're on the stream. Or are we not? Yes, we are. Perfect. What do you think? <laughs> Welcome. I don't hear you, Rafia. Oops. Let me check. There is some glitch here. Uh, I think you would be fine again. No, we're not able to hear you. It, it was good till just a moment ago. Let me just uh, take you back in. Sorry, viewers, but that's technology. So let's get Rafia back on the show. Are we good? Rafia, say something. No? Whoops. All right. So I think uh, a quick solution is if you log out and log in again. Meanwhile, let me uh, take our viewers through some extracts of the book. Yeah. Can you hear me, Rafia? Are you able to hear me? 
uh, if you, are you able to hear me no okay sorry viewers just hang in there okay we brought you back on screen does that work now no you're not able to hear me okay uh, i will advise you to log back in there you go so uh, uh, rafi if you could just log okay it's Seems my voice is cutting too. So let let just Are you able to hear me now, viewers? Am I audible? Is, is my voice coming across? This is very strange. Just re-log in, Rafia. Meanwhile, I'll uh, get my voice corrected. Okay, so evidently you can hear me now, and uh, Rafi is off stream, so we'll have her back. Allow me to read the habit that we are uh, going to be discussing with you today. So this is the book. Okay, you can order it on Amazon. Paper books are paperbacks are available. It's a habit of self renewal, and in fact, the habits of self renewal are laid out in a manner that you can follow them from the morning till the night. So this is the last habit of the day, and. Uh, the habit is acknowledge blessings and visualize your future now acknowledging blessings is about knowing that whatever is happening is good for you and uh, i see rafia back and having that in internal belief that it is good how do you develop that internal belief that's the question so i think we are back with audio rafia are you Yes. Uh, now I hear you, me? Sandeep. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Fantastic. You see, everything happens perfectly because in this gap, I was able to tell the viewers about the yeah. habit we are discussing. Which, of course, the question to you was, how do you embrace uh, the mindset? How 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 do we mm -hmm. embrace new habits? But in specific, we are talking about acknowledging blessings and visualizing your future. And I think this was this time to be this way. because it is such a blessing to have you on the show to have you so so non stressed and so patient and so um, chilled out coming back uh, on and off uh, line just to share your uh, experiences and wisdom with us so thanks so much for being back i'm really grateful tell us how do we start with this how do we create the mindset that embraces new habits I think it's uh, well. Thank you so much for such a uh, great introduction about me. And uh, uh, first of all, I want to congratulate you for this amazing book. It is very timely, and I'm sure it can help many people who are still struggling to accept this change and adapt to this new normal. So, uh, on that note, I am really um, happy that you brought this on time. And coming back to the answer to your question. i think to me um it starts with acceptance no matter whatever happens in our life until we accept it as it is we cannot bring that change and to bring that change we need mm -hmm. to do something differently which have which we have not been doing before 
So that's where mm-hmm. we can change right. our habits. And that change comes and that acceptance is easy when we can start counting our blessings. I'll tell you a tiny um, uh, a story of my life. Uh, 10 years back, um, please bear with yeah. me. <laughs> 10 years back, uh, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I was please. sitting on a window. It was 1.30 a.m. in the uh, in the midnight with one of my leg hanging outside the window and one of the leg hanging inside the window. Guess what I'm doing <laughs> at 1.30 a.m. night, right? So definitely it was not a, a good thing to do. To get the mm-hmm. answer to this question, what I was doing, let, let me take you to my childhood. When I was six <clears throat> years old, okay. I saw on a torn uh, old newspaper, I saw something amazing which totally changed my life at the age of six. I saw this line, first women in space. That was the birth of my childhood dream to be an astronaut. So from that point, next 15 years, I dedicated my life to uh, to be an astronaut, um, um, having my um, graduation, working in aeronautics organization. All this was going very well until at some point of time, I realized that I cannot pursue my pursue my education to continue and also to pave the path for my uh, to live my dream to be an astronaut that was quite devastating for me that's why i decided to be there on on that window <laughs> sitting there so that was the story but yes like I, you I were jumping out of the window i did not i'm here to share my story with you and inspire people being a mindset coach right so that's the reason why i became a mindset coach. so what happened 10 years fast forward from that point to that was my lowest point to this point is I applied an astronaut's perspective. I call it as an astronaut's perspective because I named it after my dream. So the primary issue with me was I was not wow. accepting this change. And all that I can see is thinking only about already that I lost. I was not thinking about already blessed with wow just yeah wow just besides this dream I had many more things in my life i had a loving family i had a health i had opportunities i had knowledge i had my qualifications if i want i can start over anything that i want but when my mind was completely covered with this darkness of ignorance i cannot count my blessings so with my personal experience i realized mm-hmm. that it starts with acceptance and uh, then we slowly can change your habits based on what you want to achieve in your life wow so just to take one step back uh, on this acceptance the the first what you are starting to accept is that yes. you are already blessed that's the beginning yeah. of your acceptance you know that's that's powerful i i think 10 years ago you have already yes, renewed course, yourself I mean, would you life, say uh, it, everything i started from the scratch <laughs> because uh, my life just before that event and after that e- event is totally different i was in a technical field now from past 10 years i'm living in a place like singapore being a speaker global keynote speaker and corp, um, and mindset coach and i have my uh, 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 training and consulting business business in singapore singapore all these changes changes happen because i accepted initially when when when, when i was in the darkness so that mind shift happened because i accepted I accepted first that there is much more wow. in my life and I have to embrace it. Unless I embrace this, I cannot see the light. Awesome, Rafia. I did not know the details of your story. I didn't know you wanted to be an astronaut once. But just to connect with the readers, I'm going to read you uh, this, this little uh, sure. piece in the box. Mm-hmm. You've read it, of course, Rafia. It says... Unless you can use where you stand as a hard ground to jump from, you will never be able to leap anywhere. And Rafia's story epitomizes this line because she used the hard ground of family, health, and acknowledging what she's got to leap to where she's uh, influencing people on a global scale. 
That's really awesome. Now, this brings me to another aspect of this habit where we're talking about visualization. Now, did you visualize yourself as all this happening? And if so, how does this process of visualization actually work? It worked well. I think before that event also, I heard about visualization, but I really don't know what it is and how it works. Until I reached my uh, rock bottom, you know, as, as you say, like we have to uh, make our ground stronger. So when I hit my ground, then only I realized that, yes, I need to make my roots stronger first. Before, before take that leap of even to be an astronaut, I need to make sure that I'm mentally, physically and emotionally prepared to be who, who I want to be. Right. So, yeah, it's, it, it, it's, it's very true that at that moment, it was totally, it was totally darkness. So if you ask me that, OK, did I visualize at that point? No. Because I cannot see the light. I think visualization starts once we start counting our blessings and once we um, uh, accepting that we are already blessed with everything that it takes me to be who I am. Once that step right. is taken care, then comes visualization. Awesome. How it so, me, yeah. yeah. Please go on. How it works for me is uh, so I was sitting uh, so uh, then my I, I can see that mind shift in my uh, that okay I started counting blessings but still I was not having clarity what to do next but once I got the clarity of what to do next since it was everything is new for me first of all I need to bring that confidence in me so I heard about this visualization technique so every day I was visualizing but with a positive state of mind and right. I got that positive state of mind because I opened up my mind for all the blessings that I'm already having. I'm open to universe so that the universe can easily give me abundance that I'm, I'm, I'm really craving for at that moment. So visualization really helped me. But after coming back to the positive state of mind, and I was doing it every day, I still do. I train to my um, uh, coaches, um, uh, to my me uh, mentors, sorry, uh, to my clients also. I share, I share, it's a, one of the powerful technique. And if we do it correctly, you can see the miracles happening in your life. And it happened to me. It happened to me. I started, I started over from that point to this point. And, and you're going to tell us the technique? <laughs> Visualization technique? Exactly. How do you go about doing it? Because otherwise it sounds like woo woo stuff, you know? Yes. Uh, how did I do? So first of all, as I said, like it's a step by step process uh, during this acceptance. I applied my own technique. Uh, uh, I call it as an astronaut's perspective. Of course, visualization is a part of it. So um, you see, astronauts get to see the world from an um, entirely different point of view. Like right. they have the opportunity to break free from their current environment here on Earth and uh, um, fly far into space, then they can turn and look back at Earth from a completely different perspective. That's what exactly happens. When we are visualizing, we can see things from a different perspective. Right. 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 And you, you see, the key to my transformation was unlocking this ability to take myself out of my current situation and view my world from an entirely different perspective, just as astronauts do. And how did I do? Through visualization. When I was, when I started visualization, I was not actually what I wanted to be. I was, I was much, much lower level than what I wanted to be at that point. Right. In fact, not even having a clarity. Once I got the clarity, once I started visualization, but to visualize, I must, I, I could be able to step out of that frame and visualize myself in a totally different frame. Correct. And, and it is a very different frame to be a, a global speaker uh, versus being an astronaut in a, in yes. a spaceship. It's hugely different. I lost my dream, but I, I found my purpose. Now I can help many people. If being an astronaut, maybe I could have fulfilled only my dream, but being a coach and being a, a, a speaker, I'm impacting people globally. So awesome. That's awesome. My, that's my, I'm, I'm so happy with what I'm doing. And visualization really helped me. So Truly. this is my visualization. An astronaut perspective is my way of visualization. 
you you yeah you're the expert there i guess uh, we'll have to connect up uh, uh, sure. on your uh, channel or your blog to understand more of this sure. uh, what is your blog uh rafia sultana youtube you can find it all right uh, there's not okay. much of a content right now i'm busy but i'm planning to release more uh, have my instagram the growth mindset girl you can find it the there growth mindset girl all right yeah. perfect so instagram the growth mindset girl yeah awesome now uh, i just thought i'd pick up the book again and refer to uh, something which again as a mindset coach you would have a different uh, thought to that you know and that is this concept of affirmations because wow. uh, often when uh, what, what guru pranachandra is recommending is that before you sleep you affirm certain things you make your plans and priorities for the next day to do less you count your blessings uh, and like that but yeah. i find often people uh, have a bottleneck in believing their own affirmation line because it doesn't sound like me i'm not in that space so hmm. uh, can you share with us some tips from uh, you know your students how they break those kind of barriers and meanwhile uh, viewers if you have any questions for her uh, this is this is the time to put them in uh, i'm uh, given a line here thanks rafia for sharing your story i think you coming across with that kind of authenticity that everybody seeks so tell us about affirmations now thank you so affirmations uh, even from my personal experience when initially when i was also not believing uh, in myself uh, to my experience and also with my personal experience and with my work experience what i realized is people have uh, people underestimate their power people underestimate uh, their potential the moment uh, they realize that they are much more than their pains fears it is easy for them to break these barriers and primarily the one thing as you mentioned they need to kill their ego oh that's a big one <laughs> you're opening up a box <laughs> yes you're right i mean there is no doubt about it and in fact guru pranachandra recommends a number of methods that one could use to uh, first recognize the ego and then go about this process of killing it do you have any fast quick solutions to kill the ego yeah oh change your perspectives try to look at people uh, look at people and even act exactly as they are do not create perceptions on your own without understanding just just astronaut's perspective step out of the frame immediately and try to look from awesome. both the parties step out of the frame that's what i say step out of the frame immediately Awesome. I, I I will decipher that uh, the way I have understood it, that your ego needs to feed on something, and what you have to realize is that your ego is feeding on your perspective of matters. So if uh, you are able to change your perspective, suddenly the ego doesn't have anything to nourish it anymore, and uh, yes. poof, it it disappears till it can latch onto something else. that's true i mean keep actually, shifting your perspective you you're on change your perspective that accept that you are just a speck of a speck of a dust on this planet earth that itself is enough pretty much we, i think i think we we give too much of importance to ourselves that you know like but as a matter of fact we are just a speck of a dust so for what we are having ego and that ego also can be killed by compassion and love love yourself love others being so compassionate in fact in my story when i wanted to uh, change my story of that serendipity initially i started with humanitarian work when i did not have the clarity i was going and volunteering randomly people don't they don't even know me i'll just simply go show up and uh, volunteer and i'll come back but that gave me a sense of realization that how people are my pain is only this what people are going through is much more so right. the moment you are pushing yourself the moment you are uh, um uh, completely getting out of that you know me 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 the moment you think about we that ego disappears also awesome, yeah that's another quick fix absolutely 
Excellent. Wonderful. I mean, viewers, there are some great nuggets here. In case you're joining this uh, show after the live uh, broadcast, add your comments here. We'd love to address them as well. But uh, just just uh, be sure that you're here every evening on this page at uh, 9 p.m. Because every day we have a guest with nuggets as powerful as this. And the goal is to get you to understand how easy it is to start renewing. You can do it the way Rafia did it. What an amazing story that was. Now, especially with the lockdowns moving uh, into openness, what they have done is they've made us realize that we are even smaller than, she was saying a dust particle, we are smaller than a coronavirus. Yeah. But uh, before we conclude today's episode, Rafia, I'd like you to give some tips to our uh, viewers about how to uh, embrace the mindset for the post um, uh, lockdown uh, phase. What to do now for the next two, three months. Spend more time with your loved ones and see how blessed you are to have a family. Look at your body and see you have i mean you have all your organs working well and i believe one one thing very strongly that as long as our brain cells are working we can reverse anything except death awesome true 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 okay we have another question here before i let you go uh rafia what would you tell the kids to increase self-confidence how to teach them to think big and change their perceptions of the ordinary life they have so much imagination, but they also have their parents and teachers working against them. Mm. So if you are a parent, I think it is your responsibility. And besides, if they have lack of confidence, it is not only about them. It is also about the family that they're living in, the kind of environment that we're creating for them. Appreciate them for every tiny achievement that they are doing. Even it could be uh, as small as uh, um, uh, as small as helping you in your household chores or anything. Appreciate for who they are, and please, please do not compare them with others. Give them tiny, tiny tasks, and after they achieve those tasks, appreciate them for doing uh, for those tiny tasks. That's how they improve their confidence. Do not compare them with others. That's where they lose their confidence. Awesome. You got your two point formula. Make sure that you are recognizing small stuff and make sure that you're not comparing. Great, yes. great going. Well, thank you so much, Rafia. That was absolutely awesome to have you on the show with us today. And uh, viewers, like I said, join us every evening, 9 p.m. We are going to see you tomorrow with uh, a gentleman from Dubai. And actually, we're going to continue to take a deeper dive on the subject of gratitude. It's not just that we're blessed, but we can be grateful for various things. And in fact, the topic is, where do you draw the line on gratitude? What can, can you be grateful for the coronavirus, even if you've directly been uh, impacted? Talk about it tomorrow. We'll see you till then. Thank you. Have Thanks. a great evening. Thanks for having me, Sandeep. Wonderful, Rafia. Thank you, everyone.